Seeing an airship floating high in the sky is a rare sight. Only a few of these graceful giants exist. They use a gas which is lighter than air to stay afloat. As it comes into land, you can see how easily the wind pushes it around. It's the job of the ground crew to grab the tow ropes and help guide it across the airfield. They have to hold on tight, literally stopping the whole thing from floating away. The idea of a lighter-than-air craft has been around for a long time. Before aeroplanes were invented, the first commercial passenger aircraft were airships. The R100 was 215 metres long and one of the first to carry passengers across the Atlantic. It was a huge structure, a rigid metal framework covered with fabric and filled with hydrogen gas. With a spacious interior, passengers enjoyed the same sort of luxuries as those aboard ocean liners like the Titanic. They really were ships of the air. So why did they never become a popular form of transport? This party balloon is full of hydrogen gas. Just like helium, it's lighter than air. But see what happens when a naked flame approaches. Hydrogen is light, it's cheap and readily available, but unfortunately, it's also highly flammable. As the Hindenburg airship came into land in 1937, it caught fire with fatal consequences. 35 people died. An alternative gas, which doesn't burn, had to be found. These bubbles are full of hydrogen, and although they're light, they easily catch fire. The gas in this bubble is carbon dioxide. It's far too heavy. It won't catch fire, but it'll never get off the ground. This gas is light and doesn't burn. It's helium. Although it's the best alternative to hydrogen, helium is very expensive. It costs £6,000 to fill this three-seater craft, which is probably one good reason why airships are so rare. <laughs> 